guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode two of season two of Rent a Girlfriend. All right, so you know what, BTW, before we even get start uh, started with this episode, let's talk a little bit about last week's episode. Um, I got a comment from one of my subscribers kind of saying that the Arthur of this series initially spoiled who the end girl was gonna be, and I think I know who it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and like voice like who I think it is because it in my opinion it is kind of obvious and such so I feel like it is going to be Chizuru because it's always that like oh whoever you know our main character first meets that is sometimes usually the end girl um and I and from that comment I I saw someone reply saying like hey you know like don't ruin it for other people da 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 and stuff the remember like I'm not watching this for Kazuya because we all know the situation on him. We all know. Like, no, uh, we don't all like him. Come on now. Because, I, you know, remember, season one, I, I was like, I had a love-hate relationship with it, and we're just continuing on that from season two. Um, Really, like, of course, this is me just seeing the girl's journey and their stories and stuff because, you know, Kazu. Kazu. That's all I gotta say about him in a nutshell. Kazu. But maybe he'll redeem himself. I don't know. I don't know. I just hope mommy makes an appearance today. That's all we care about because that is the best girl in my opinion. She's a you second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We ain't even going to talk about who's starting fourth. You know, we're, we're not going to have an argument, okay? Okay. All right. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode two. And three, two, one, go. I just feel like he's going to piss me off today. And I'm happy I'm watching this last. <laughs> And it's just, okay, and it's worse because, like, okay, the guy who plays Kazu, like, I like his seiyu. His seiyu's a really good seiyu. He's did so many other things that I love him in. And then he's got to play this character. And, and it's like, genuinely, I feel like we all don't really like Kazu because I'm not going to say hate because hate is a strong word. We all just have a massive dislike of Kazu <laughs> because of reasons. <laughs> Because it was worse. I think, what was it, last night or Saturday night, I was on TikTok, and <laughs> there was a video of stuff of, like, I think a whole bunch of guys roasting the crap out of Kazu. I was like, damn! Oh, my God! But then when you, when you think, when you really sit back and think about it, you're like, yeah, I agree with you on that with <laughs> Alright, what the hell happened today? <laughs> he would ask! I mean, you know what? That's dedication because if you love your wife, girlfriend, whoever, you do everything. God, that still hurts. But she had so much talent. <laughs> I just wish you would just tell her and then like, oh. Oh, God. 
Sorry. No, wait. You're gonna end up being broke by the end of the year. Speaking of which, is mommy gonna show up today? That's not it. That's not. We're not. I'm not counting that. No. No. Yeah. Well, Ruka does like you. Yeah, and if you truly did, yeah, you would have been with Ruka, but a big what? Freaking Noah does Ruka so well. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't think you really want her to treat you like shit.
Yeah, I mean, once again, you gonna run out of money. That too. Oh, her shoes are so cute. That's another reason why I like this show. The style, the freaking outfits. <laughs> oh, you want to go to batting cages? I mean, it's just you two hanging out. I mean, it, it is still a date, but I need a date date. Yeah, because, you know, if you were a big weirdo, she wouldn't be hanging out with you. <laughs> Go on, high five her. Friends do that. Please no. Oh God. Please tell me I'm not gonna go um, go home and wake off without him.
Oh, she's so sweet. Yeah, I know, but she just currently felt some type of way when she said boyfriend. <sighs> Water, duh. No, I, I don't think so, but I'm really curious about what she's going to ask you. Uh, do you want him to record it for you, or...? She did good. Mm-hmm. Cody! <laughs> right? Like, really? <laughs> oh my god! show <laughs>
And that will be you. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, damn, we, you know, we didn't have to say that, but I, I get you. <laughs> and I think she gets you as well. You wouldn't think that someone like her would be, you know, lonely and needy, but if she is, mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, but you are going to have obstacles in your way. Well, I mean, mm, maybe. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, I, I will say, you know, Kazu, you, you made me feel a little different type of way towards each other today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could he possibly maybe be a good girlfriend? I mean, girlfriend, boyfriend um, for Chizu? Yeah, I, I really think he can. He's a little inside of his head too much and you can see that especially from season one on to this season as well and so what I'm hoping that happens is is he becomes more of an outgoing type character where he's more likable and such that's all I want for him that's all he needs become more likable don't just you know don't don't be that guy because you were that guy in season one and I feel like you're still going to be that guy continuously into this season I don't know yet because this is only episode two and I don't know much about the freaking manga all right so you know let's talk about this another freaking week without best girl mommy I'm okay with it I'm not mad I do like the fact that we got a flashback look of her but that don't count for me when we get brand new mommy brand new outfits so that I can be like, yes, I want to put that on my Pinterest and be like, yes, that's the style. Like, all these outfits she's wearing in this ending, perfection. Like, oh, God, all of them look so good. <laughs> just, that's all I want. I just, I want one whole episode where mom, it's just about mommy, that's it. <laughs> yeah, he's such trash. Course she Oh baby. Mm. <gasps> Where is she at?
Okay, like, hold on, hold on. Here, here, here's one thing. That, okay, since she's lost her key, how the fuck did you lose your key? I mean, well, you know what? I get it, because we've all lost something. Um, I've never really lost my key, though. Thank God. But I've lost, well, no. Technically, I have, but I've lost that in my house. And I've lost it in the couch. That's it. That don't really count, though. But the only, like, I think the one thing that I did lose, and this was me in high school, I lost, like, a prepaid credit card. I, I thought I did, but in the end, it was just in my book bag and stuff, and I was just, like, panicking and freaking out. And, like, imagine, like, freaking teenage Deja, Deja freaking out over this and be like, oh, my God, I'm not going to be able to eat. I'm not going to be able to eat. And then it was worse. Um, my necklace that I had that is that has my name, just Deja, on it that my grandma gave me, I lost that while I was in New York. So I had to tell my grandma, which was sad, and I told her it, was, it wasn't it was on purpose, it was on accident, and she literally totally forgave me and such, and she gave me a new one, which I have with me and such, but it has a freaking knot on it, and I hate that. But, okay, one thing is, I wanted to say this, and I was like, okay, well, you, you might end up staying here for the night, she's a new. My thing is, okay, hold on, your, your door is locked. There's a possibility your back door, your your little balcony ain't locked. So she could get over from his balcony to her balcony. That would be easy because they're both kind of connected. So that would be easy. But something tells me that would be a little too, too easy. So, of course, the back door, that back door is locked. That gate is locked because if you're smart, you lock that as well. But the fact is that mommy is coming. I wonder how the, how the hell that's going to go. And, of course, like, Aoi Yuki is going to be brilliant in it because it's freaking Aoi Yuki, of course. Um, if these two end up having another sit-down in this episode, bruh, <laughs> that shit's going to be hilarious. But, of course, we're not going to know until Friday, which is, like, forever away, <laughs> unfortunately. But I feel like it, it's just, it's good, you know... All I'm going to say is, if it does happen, I'm ready to be a fly on that wall because the shit that is going to go through these two girls' minds, especially mommy, and then she going to go home and go on fucking Twitter and rant about that shit. Be like, why the fuck is this damn bitch here? Like, what the fuck? But like, I just wanted to come and talk to, ta to Kazu about, you know, us and then maybe finally move on from him because, you know, he's a... Uh, uh, and stuff, you know, let me, let me be an independent bad bitch, but you know, at the same time, why the fuck is this bitch here, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> independent bad bitch moves, because that's mommy, and that's why I love her, and stuff, even though, like, yeah, because it's so weird how, like, in the first half of season one, like, I, I disliked mommy, and then, uh, then because of the ranting thing, I was like, damn, I can relate to this girl, so fucking much by the end of season one i ended up loving her so freaking much but yeah i think next week is gonna be really interesting and i cannot wait to see how it goes but other than that guys that is my reaction for you towards episode two of season two of run a girlfriend if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all on friday for episode three but until then i will see you guys all next time bye